Donald Trump made a strategic appearance at Georgia Tech in Atlanta, urging supporters to turn out in large numbers as early voting nears its end. With roughly 40% of Georgia voters having already cast ballots, Trump's focus remains on securing a solid turnout in this pivotal state. Emphasizing that the election must be finished off, he looked to capitalize on Georgia's shifting political landscape, where recent elections have proven razor thin. Throughout his address, Trump returned to familiar criticisms of prominent Democratic leaders. He aimed sharp remarks at Vice President Kamala Harris, portraying her policies as radical and divisive. Trump also took aim at Fulton County's District Attorney Fonnie Willis, calling her an opponent trying to lock him up for political reasons. He extended his critiques to former First Lady Michelle Obama, citing her recent remarks against him as nasty, amplifying his long-standing narrative of being targeted by the establishment elite. Trump's rally comes amid continued controversies. At a recent event in New York, his campaign was overshadowed by racist remarks from a comedian, sparking criticism from opponents who compared the rally's rhetoric to fascist events of the past. Trump's ally, Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene, responded defensively, suggesting conservatives should challenge these characterizations in court to combat unfounded accusations. Trump's appearance drew an unusually young crowd, reflecting a push to mobilize new voters, even at institutions traditionally less politically active, like Georgia Tech. Against this backdrop, a pro-Palestinian student demonstration was set up on campus, calling for divestment from Israel amid the conflict in Gaza. Although the protest was not specifically tied to Trump's rally, it underscored the broader spectrum of political concerns that students are voicing as national debates intensify in the final stretch of the election season.